Welcome back to the heart of GAFCON, Dominic Steele here, and we're talking to people across the Anglican Communion. We're going to Uganda now, and the Archbishop of Uganda. Thanks for coming in, Stephen Kazimba. Yeah, you're welcome. How are you finding the conference so far? Ah, uh, the conference is excellent. It is a time of uh, meeting friends, a time of uh, putting our heads together to see how we can forge our forward for a renewal, revival, and reorder of the Anglican Communion. Mm. I heard those three words used um, by Bishop Keith Sinclair so well in the last session. Yeah, yeah they are so wonderful because the gospel is about uh, repentance, which is after the resurrection, resuscitation, reconciliation, revival, reformation. It's about reorder. So, so it's very, very important that uh, our time here will result into repentance, which is also a call for reconciliation, uh, but also renewal and reorder of the Anglican Communion, the way it should go after the fabric of the Communion was broken by sin, mm. which was caused by the Church of England and also Episcopal Church of America, plus others. Mm. Yes. What's your message been to Archbishop Welby? Because you've known him for a long time. Uh, definitely, uh, I am disappointed because in Uganda, the message of the gospel came from Church of England in 1877. The first missionaries came. And so we had polygamy as a, a normal way of marriage. And every man had three, four, five women. And they, they chased their wives because of the gospel. Mm. And now, when we hear a message that, uh, okay, now even a man can have another man as a wife, all same-sex marriages is also marriage, we get disappointed that those who brought the gospel to us are turning away from what they brought to us. So my, our message is, for us in Uganda, we still keep the gospel in its totality. We cannot embrace liberalism and confusionism. So we just call upon uh, Archbishop Justin to repent. And uh, in July or any other given time, they should really reverse the decision they made, which is destroying the Anglican communion. They should reverse, otherwise, and that is so sad in his time as an Archbishop of Canterbury. A terrible thing to happen on his watch. It is so terrible. Actually, it will be remembered like you remember uh, in the Apostles' Creed, Jesus suffered during the time of Pontius Pilate. Mm. Pontius Pilate. All creeds we talk about. So it will be remembered that uh, the Anglican communion was broken during the time of Justin Werber. Mm. Um, this week, what are you hoping to come out of this week? Uh, really, uh, I'm looking forward to our meeting as primates uh, this afternoon, but also the statement that will come out of this meeting, the communique. Uh, my expectation is that uh, there will be uh, 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 focusing on one thing together, the gospel, focusing on Jesus, especially the theme, which is very important, to whom should we uh, go? We should go to Jesus. We should really be committed to work together more than ever before. Uh, Africa, Native America, uh, Africa, uh, Latin America, Americas, Australia, we need to work together to ensure that we follow the way of the gospel. Well, others have forsaken Jesus and the right teaching, we should stick to the gospel and we need each other more 
than ever before. If we come back to the question of reordering of the Anglican Communion, what do you think or hope that might look like? Uh, actually, I would see that uh, uh, GAFCON, uh, Global South, uh, if they all come together, you know, I think uh, leadership can be uh, rotating mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's not about taking power, it's about definitely empowering each other, supporting each other, uh, inviting, like you now GovCon is more in mission, mm -hmm. mission, conferences, uh, retreats, training, which should be very key. Encouraging one another, these should be the most, most important things. But they should be an element of uh, discipline. Mm. Because the reason why we have had all this, there is no element of disciplining mm. those who have gone out of the, uh, the way. Because uh, at Canterbury, we had the Archbishop, we have Lambeth, we have uh, Anglican uh, Council, we have a Conservative Council, and we have the primates. But there, there isn't anything which you would say this is a, an arm to discipline those who have gone astray. So I think in a reordering that should be something to be considered. Mm. Otherwise, you know, human beings are human beings. You can have these people coming together, and then because there is no discipline, they can do others, they can even create something else which will be also a source of division. But uh, now, let us wait for a statement and uh, the way forward together this week. I am grateful that uh, we have uh, this conference and uh, my prayer is that uh, at the end of it all, we will continue to love one another. Church of Australia, Africa, America, Asia. This is what we need. And we continue to see Jesus Christ more than ever before. Let us promote the gospel. Let us promote repentance, renewal, recommitment, revival, reformation, re resuscitation, and the reorder of the Anglican Church so that the gospel will continue to be preached. The way to, to heaven is not in Canterbury. The way to heaven is in Jesus. So we don't need to be worried, yeah, if now well, there is no going in Canterbury. No, we don't have any scripture to say, unless you go in Canterbury, you cannot go to heaven. No. So we need to, like for me, I was made a bishop in 2008, uh, in October, after Canterbury and Gafcon. But I found Gafcon so enriching mm. and rewarding and there's a friendship and found they, they really stick to scripture and revival. And for us in Uganda, because of the coming of missionaries and teaching the Bible, we got some younger men and women who were persecuted and burnt alive. Mm. They were put in fire for the gospel. Because of the gospel that was brought by the missionaries from England. So we cannot betray those men who are killed for the gospel by going backward. And in Uganda we have what the June 3rd Matters Day. 45 men were burnt singing for, for Jesus because of the gospel that uh, the, the British brought to us. So now when we mess up that, we betray those men and women who were killed. So GAFCON is putting us in the real, real image of the gospel. We are ready to defend it. We want to go back and teach our people to follow the Jerusalem Declaration, to stick the Bible, because that's the word of the Lord.
Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Archbishop Stephen Kazimba has been our guest. He is the primate of the Anglican Church of Uganda. Thank you. God bless you. Stick to Jesus. Absolutely. Thanks, sir.